Hey guys, VBad here with another V Plays, and we're going to take out the XP58. I haven't done it in a while. I've flown it a little bit tonight, but I haven't done it in a while in a video. And the XP58 is a, one of the classic premium tier 8s that have been available in World of Warplanes for quite a while. It's essentially a giant P38 Lightning, but instead of having 50 kills with a 37, they just went all 37s, so it has four 37mm cannons in the nose, and then some 50 kills in the tail. I'm going to go ahead and add that F2 key on the mine, because we're going to need that. Uh, and then I'm going to head over to this site. Sweet. Okay, cool. I need one bomber, at least. So, this is actually fairly nimble. I do have it specialized, and it does have some decent maneuverability. It feels exactly like flying a P-38 at this tier, but it isn't the fastest thing anymore. I mean, it still feels like it can get around all right, but it's going to struggle to keep up with, like, 262s and stuff. But that's okay, because... We got the same type of firepower as a 262 on a very nimble platform, as you can see. We're gonna go see if we can interrupt their mon- no, no, I'm gonna shoot this guy. Hey there, young feller. If I can kill him, we'll get the zone. There we go. Let's get over there as fast as we can. Killing a bomber over there would be beneficial if there's a bomber over here. They do have a human and a ground attacker. There's the bomber. Okay. Oh, just a second too shy. All right, that's all right. P-51. Let's dive on him. Oh, we got a couple of hits on him. Now let's show him what the stinger looks like. His pilot's gone. His engine's gone. And... Can we get his pilot again? There's his pilot. Thank you. And now he doesn't want to play anymore. Which means I'm going to go back and kill him. So... Come back around... Big old hits. Let's go intercept the ground attackers now, because one of those is a human. And I don't want him to... Oh, 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 oh. You know what? Getting the mines important. Very important. Let's stop this typhoon. Yak 3. And there's the P-51 again. Interesting. He's going for it again. While we're doing that, let's go for the J4M here. Cool. Got the... Yeah, it's a 10.56. Our military base is launching strikes on the enemy. This will make things easier for you. All plans are under our control. Nice, that's what I was hoping for.
There we go. One down. Let's come back on the GA here. Just a lot of firepower on this thing. All right, Avery, you you can have him. The enemy is launching rockets at us from the military base. Take action. Looks like they grabbed the center. That's going to be the human ground attacker over here. So we'll call him out. All right, Beavis, I see it. Beavis can outturn. Well, we can outturn Beavis, but it's like an equal footing. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from support. I say again, support will not be available. Keep it up. Ah, oh, cool. We got a rollover. There we go. Get all four to hit. There's no way to break through for you now. You're on your own. Couple of good hits. Light them on fire. We're actually fairly nimble. We got like a 13.2 second turn time. We are specialized though, and we did kind of spec it out that way. Come on. There we go. Kill them. Ooh, losing the mine's gonna hurt, but I think we'll be okay as long as we can keep the center in control. Okay. Yak three. Oh, nope. That's it. Throw up the GG. Managed to pick up a McCampbell. 13,880 personal points. A lot of just very generic flying right there. And far surpassed both teams for overall personal points, but we're also playing heavily to our role. Intercepting, bombers, multi-rolls, ground attackers. Uh, it does have the firepower to be able to do that. Sometimes it's a little bit temperamental because of the way 37s kind of behave, but with the ability to kind of kit it out for a maneuverability build, and it's still retaining some level of altitude performance, it reminds me a lot of the P-82 Bravo, but with big old honking cannons and a bit more altitude instead of having some ground attack capability. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this airframe as the other tier 8 american premium heavy and this thing is featuring a well it's sorry 12.5 versus a 13.2 but it's still a very nimble heavy fighter but the altitude performance is still going to be that like 8000 plus while you're looking at a bit of a sacrifice for the p82 bravo and it does carry air to ground ordnance. And while it only has 50 kills, uh, it still gets out a decent amount of damage at 728 damage per second. But this gets it 
just a little bit with 816 and we saw some really good hits when all four of the 37s made contact on the enemy aircraft. They have a pretty decent rate of fire and a respectable range. It reminds me a lot of a 262's gun behavior but on a much more nimble platform which means that you can really get some solid hits out there. The airspeed is also very solid airspeed. You're talking about like 500 miles an hour. But if you were to compare it with, let's say, a German tier 8, like a 262, the 262 is going to have it beat hands down with like a 578 miles an hour with a similar specialized configuration. So really, you are going to get the guns from the 262, but you're going to borrow some maneuverability from the P-82 Bravo. And you also get a fairly decent tail gunner in the form of these dual 50 kills. And these dual 50 kills are pumping out 128 damage per second. Comparing that real quick with the BVP 203, also getting 128 damage per second. So you have the ability to really scare off some light fighters that do decide that they're going to try and follow you. And as you saw, we were able to keep that P-51H completely off our tail. Uh, it doesn't work for all light fighters, and it doesn't work in every situation, but it does mean that for those situations where you are stuck, where you can't outturn your adversary, you can just rely on the tail gunners. And it totally diverts from everything I've ever talked about from flying a heavy. I tell a lot of people when you're flying a heavy, don't turn. Try and maintain your momentum. But with this aircraft, you can turn with a target and finish it off. And it will still allow you to be able to do that. And then it's very forgiving in the sense that you can use the tail gunner to kind of beat people off your tail. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Taking a look at the XP-58. It is a workhorse in this game. And it will net you some pretty decent credits. As you can see, that battle with a premium account netted me 278,000, but without a premium, it would have been 1,000 or 185,000 credits. So, very respectable credit earner. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.